Hey guys, so today we're gonna go ahead and install the paddle shifters on the C8 steering wheel, part number VZ102237. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the batteries. Go off these panels. Disconnect your native. Then we're gonna take off these um, covers. And we're just gonna unbolt these bolts inside. Just pull off the airbag and you're gonna pull these two orange parts up and then disconnect the, the harness. And then that is off. Now we're just gonna go ahead and release this red tab. pull off your serum. So we're only gonna work on this area. You just have to unbolt these and then you should be able to replace um, your paddle shifters. So this is how it looks before with your original paddle shifters. We're gonna go ahead and pull these off and then we're just gonna go ahead and release this white tail. The same thing on the other side. And that's it. So for these you're just gonna release um, these tabs. And then you should be able to pull it off. So once you pull these off, you're gonna have to push this pen.
and then that releases this. All right, so you have some like openings here. These two great parts are gonna go in here like this. So and then you should be able to go into the slot and then you'll see a clear path. So you can see that clear path right there um, and the pin is just gonna go inside that slot. So we're just gonna insert it here. You might need a little bit of force to be able to put it in. Here. You're just gonna grab this and just you're gonna slide these through these clips and then it should clip back in. And that's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Same thing. Here put a little flat head in here or a little pick and just push up and it releases then again you have the same pin and you're just gonna put some pressure in here to be able to push off this side you release it and then you just pull this off I accidentally took this off, so all you gotta do is put it back inside these slots. And that's gonna be your button. If you don't have this, buttons are not gonna work. So same thing again. You're gonna align these two to these two slots. You can see like you have these two tabs right here or two stands. Those are the ones that make contact with this to make your buttons work. So again, you gotta make sure you have a clear path and you wanna put in your tab again. All right, so now it's inside. Again, you just align it to these two slots and you push it in. Too. Now you grab your steering wheel back and plug and play. This hook is going to go in here. Now you're just going to go ahead and bolt it back in. Repeat the same process on the other side. So that will be your final look. As you can see, the red on the paddle shifters will match um, the red on the steering wheel if you have the default look. You could also get this without the LED display if you wish to. And now we're just gonna go ahead and insert the steering wheel back in. You'll plug back in the harness, push in the red tab, and put that yellow tab back up. T47.
All right, so we're gonna connect the airbag back on in case you guys are reckless and driving. You'll insert it here and then don't forget your, your gray tab. You connect your whatever these are. So we're gonna put the bolts back in. These are a size 10, so whatever you use on your battery, the 10 millimeter socket is the same you're gonna use on these bolts. For this side, I just used the, the display here, this, this big old screen as my um, reflection. So you could see the reflection there really clear. I'm just pushing the paddle shifter back and using some protection because I don't want to scratch the paddle shifter. The hardest part of the steering wheel is putting this tab back on. That's it. So we're just gonna connect the battery back on. That's a wrap. We successfully installed the paddle shifters. Um, you already know to like this video and subscribe. Leave comments below. Like I said, your body shop shouldn't take that long. It does take about maybe 30 minutes the most. Um, that is super easy and you should not get overcharged. Next up is a new front splitter install and um, size splitters and new diffuser you guys could check them out on the website we'll leave links below let us know in the comments below what number is your c8 you can find it by taking off your rear bumper for that hi wing